All right, guys, good to be with you. Um, obviously, uh, tonight uh, was was uh, we had some good moments, some really good moments here tonight. Just it was good to get out in front of our guys. I give uh, Robert Morris uh, um, a lot of respect for in terms of their energy and their ability to turn people over. Uh, uh, they they forced us into some things, and then we had some foolish plays as well. But uh, certainly wish them well uh, moving forward. Obviously, quick turnaround here, so we'll take a lot. You know, at this point in the year, you're trying to self scout and self evaluate as much as anything. Uh, but we we have an opponent coming in that uh, um, is is tough and aggressive and physical. But uh, right now, it's going to be prepare for Radford on Sunday and do a great job in terms of our our self-scout, uh, having a better uh, understanding of how we want to do things and cleaning up a lot of areas that we need to. But um, overall, we had some good moments, some really good moments, and, and uh, hopefully we can build off of it. Chris, I, I know you were able to coach in here the other day, but do you do you take a moment to appreciate starting your tenure off in this way, or does the quick turnaround, and I don't know if you like just look at the 19 turnovers and have that be like, do you, do you enjoy this or are you straight coach mode? Let's get to the next one. Yeah, I, I tell you, um, I could probably do a better job. I got multiple texts today from friends that uh, and coaching friends and just friends in general who said, you know, take take some time to enjoy uh, the moment. And I completely ignored those texts. Um, so, um you know, you do. You, you know, I, I was I was more more probably uh, anxious than I thought I would be. Uh, I don't know why. I didn't think I would be anxious, but I think, you know, you want to perform well for uh, your your home fans and your first opportunity to be in front of them. Uh, you want, you know, your players to perform well for for themselves. So I was more anxious and tied up probably than I thought I would be uh, yesterday and today. Um, you know, so I, I think getting that under our, our bell is good. But to say that I've, I, I don't do a good job of that. Uh, my wife reminds me of that a lot. Uh, hopefully I'll do better at some point. But the 19 turnovers is my overriding thought right now. When you talk about being a little extra anxious, how do you make sure that doesn't bleed over to the players who, after I think it was 6-2, to two, then they went on a pretty significant run and put the game away kind of early? Uh, my anxiety? Oh, um, you know, as a coach, you kind of learn uh, to not not let them uh, see you sweat. And, and uh, you know, listen, at, at the end of the day, what I want our guys to do is be prepared to cut loose and play uh, when it comes game time. And if, if they're not ready to do that, then we haven't prepared them well. Um, um, and I think they did a pretty good job of that. that uh, for sure, but but you are right. You you want your players to play with a certain poise and and uh, and peace as they as they go out there and and have a lot of fun. And I think we we did that for the most part. But um, you know, I look at a lot of the moments in this game and just feel like, hey, there's a lot of areas we have to make significant strides in. Significant strides in. Chris, can you talk a little bit about Kada? And obviously. He missed a lot of last year, and just the performance he was able to put together tonight. Yeah, you know, I, I've said that uh, that Kada, uh, as well as, as Jay Sean, we're going to kind of go as they go, and uh, I really believe that our our season, in a lot of ways, will be uh, impacted by um, you know one or both of those guys are going to need to play well for us to to play well to have a chance because uh, they're um, terrific kids and they're really good players and. Uh, he's had really good moments in, in practice, um, and I was pleased with his activity uh, tonight, uh, uh, his ability to kind of uh, make the right play. Um, uh, he's got to continue to do that. We had a couple defensive miscues that hopefully um, uh, he can improve on, but overall his ability to obviously impact things on both ends and his ability to get to the glass tonight uh, was really important for us. Um, and he's got a quiet confidence to him that I really appreciate. And it, honestly, it balances JT really well. They balance each other exceptionally well. It, it seemed like Musa gave you uh, a spark. Sure. Um, a couple of steals that led to some breakout dunks. Uh, what is that what we can expect from him this season? And, and what kind of boost does that give you when you have a guy like that coming off your bench? You know, Musa has uh, you know played tonight like he's practiced for us in, in spots, really. And, and uh, 
Um, he's had some very good moments. I think I hinted at that a couple weeks ago when I was talking to you guys that, you know, he's 17 years old, but he's got a maturity to him, and he's been able to make threes as well as um, be a guy that defensively um, uh, we can rely on. Uh, but our attention to detail has to get a lot better in, in a lot of areas. Defensively, for one, more awareness. Um, offensively in our execution. And I've got to do a better job just making sure we are more locked in on certain things. But, but uh, as he grows in playing time, he's a guy we're going to rely on to be uh, a really good perimeter defender and have the highest level of attention to detail. And I think if he does that, he can be an exceptional both ends impact. Obviously, you guys played a lot of the young guys. Um, I guess, was that the plan going into the game? And then what would you make of, of kind of some of these guys' debuts? Uh, with some with some good moments off the bench, I, I don't you know I don't ever go into a game saying we're gonna play um, a lot of guys because you know you're saying hey I, you know as a coach you're preparing like what are we gonna do if this is a tie game and we're down one uh, so I think I, I I knew that we were gonna try to go our, our rotation is about nine or ten deep right now and we'll try to I would like to play guys now to get a feel for in. Um, how we can be moving into the later parts of the season. Uh, but I think we had some good moments from everybody on the bench, and we also had some moments that we can take film from and say, hey, listen, we've got to do this better. So uh, I was excited that each guy that came in kind of had some positive moments because, listen, that's important for this group because we have not had – we have so many guys in new roles – and then uh, how many of our guys have really been a part of uh, kind of closing out a game uh, at a high level? I think that's going to be important for us moving forward to have the confidence to do that. How pleased, was you, how pleased were you with Caleb, considering the fact that he only had two fouls? Yeah, I think it was good. You know, it was good. I think um, he's got to continue to get a little bit more disciplined in his screen setting because uh, I, I, I worry a little bit about that with him. Um, just his technique has to get a little bit better. Um, but um, he's got terrific hands. He's got great feel, um, great feel. Um, he's going to test me on his, his shooting threes. I know that. I can already feel that. So, uh, But his, his impact getting to the glass and wedge offensive rebounding um, is, is really good. And Caleb's a guy, you know, he wants – you coach him right now. You coach him. He looks you in the eye and say, "Okay, how can I do this better?" And that's that's what a freshman should want. And uh, you know, I've been pleased with that. But listen, just because he had two fouls doesn't mean his foul issues are over. It's going to be something he's going to have to continue to. He's going to have issues with that all year. Chris, you guys had a a set late in the game when it was already in hand, but you had a, a few guys drive and didn't have it, so they kicked it out and eventually got the cam who yeah. pumped and then hit the hit a floater. It was, just, it was a good, patient sort of offensive set yeah. for a team that in the past has often rushed those kind of things. I'm just curious, like, what's it been like and, and how consistent has that patient kind of offensive approach been for these guys? Well, that was one of my favorite plays of the night, uh, favorite possessions of the night. I know exactly what you're talking because we just had a lot of ball movement and guys really passed up uh, one and, and, and created a better shot. Um, that, was, that was one of my favorite possessions. It was late. I think as much as possible when you're uh, – what we try to talk to our guys is we want to have uh, – we want to be purposeful in how we play on both ends uh, regardless of what uh, the score is. And that's a challenge for guys, right? Because, um, to you know, uh, in, in I'll, I'll be – you know, like in the summer when we're playing, it's not real purposeful, right? It's just – it's kind of pick up. Uh, so that's a change for them. And I think um, – uh, that was a purposeful possession late when we were up. And then I guess in, just in general, I know you said you're not good at, at realizing the moment, but this, this was an important moment for this program, and I'm sure the players were aware of that, to, to lead for basically enti the entire game and kind of do so comfortably. What was their approach like heading into this? Is it, were you happy with, with how they came into this game? I think their approach was good. You know, players win games, and uh, you're going to hear me say that a lot. And... Um, I just believe that, you know, I think players win games. And uh, I think part what I mean by that is is they led the way, uh, JT and others, Kata, with their approach leading up to this game. And 
I think as long as our approach is good, and I think that's going to be tested and challenged because, you know, I don't know that that's always been as consistent as it needed to be. Um, so I'm going to try to keep keep our thumb on that. Um, but our, they led the way with the approach leading up to this game. And we'll see how we respond tomorrow um, and what our preparation is like for, for Sunday. And uh, that'll be a signal, hey, are we growing in terms of our maturity? Um, if not, it, you know, we'll, we'll struggle. I can guarantee you that. But I was pleased with uh, this first one uh, in terms of what you just said, their mindset and preparation uh, going into it. And I do think that's important for us. That has to be what we're about. Um, you know, we get an incredible opportunity, right? I keep telling them this in the locker room. To, to, we get an incredible opportunity to do what we love in front of people who want to come and watch us. To ever take that for granted, um, I'm not going to be real happy if I if if you if I ever sense that you feel entitled uh, to what you're doing and you take it for granted. This is a great opportunity we have to enjoy playing together in a game we love, and uh, they showed that tonight. With a, such a short turnaround, did you have to make any decisions tonight with that in mind, or did you just did you focus on this game, get through it, and then regroup? Yeah, the way we scout and uh, is um, our coaching staff. Uh, as well as our support staff, uh, will um, uh, we, we had the Robert Morris game plan in uh, basically um, uh, yesterday, and yesterday morning they began to work for uh, in preparation for Radford. Uh, I'll spend tonight uh, doing our self scout, self evaluation, putting the uh, edit together. Uh, we'll watch a good part of that tomorrow, as well as. Um, you know, it's compressed as well as spend a little bit of time on Radford uh, as, as w well, more than a little bit, a lot of time. So it's, everything's going to be compressed. It's going to be a lot of mental stuff tomorrow. Um, and then we'll do continue to do some preparation on Sunday. I guess I meant, do you go into this thinking like, hey, I don't want to play this guy more than 20 minutes, oh. or I don't want, like, things like that. Do you have to make decisions in the game with a Radford game in mind? Uh, just late when I felt like we, we had it. Um, and I both, I wanted to see some other guys uh, play. Um, and be tested, and I wanted to look at some lineups. And then, yeah, I, I mean, I did sit Kata there for – I didn't put him back in just because I felt like we were in a pretty good place with the game, and, and I knew we had a quick turnaround. Okay.